Hello dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to start a new topic that is oral mucosa. So what we are going to study in this session? So we are going to study what is or what is mucous membrane? What is oral mucosa? And what are the functions of oral mucosa? So watch this lecture till the end. So the mucous membrane, before starting oral mucosa, it is important that you should understand the concept of the mucous membrane. So the mucous membrane is a moist lining uh, and this moist lining is because of the presence of, uh, of the mucus secreting cells that are associated with the membrane. The mucous membrane, it lines the gastrointestinal tract Beside the gastrointestinal tract, the mucous membrane also lines the nasal passages, including the maxillary and the paranasal sinuses, pharynx, and the urogenital regions. They are all lined by the mucous membrane, and that mucous membrane, it contains goblet cells, and those goblet cells, they keep the mucous membrane, the lining of the mucous membrane moist. So the oral mucosa, in the oral cavity, this bright pink mucous membrane, it is known as the oral mucous membrane or oral mucosa. So these are the pictures in which you can see this all is the oral mucosa. So what are the functions of the oral mucosa? So the oral mucosa, it has uh, numerous functions, uh, for example, protection. The oral mucosa, it protects the deeper tissues and organ uh, from various mechanical forces that arises during a uh, daily function, for example, during mastication or during speech. The oral mucosa, it also acts as a barrier against normal oral microorganisms, also known as resident population or normal oral flora. And at the same time, it also acts as a barrier against pathogenic microorganisms. And if these microorganisms, they gain access or they enter into the uh, deeper tissues below the, below the epithelium, then they produce pathology. The oral mucosa, it also has a sensory function. So there are receptors in the oral mucosa and those receptors, they respond to temperature, touch, pain, and thirst. Beside these, there are other receptors in the oral cavity as well, such as for salivation, swallowing, and gagging. One of the important receptors in the oral mucosa is, is for the taste. And these taste birds, they are associated with, with, associated with the papillas of the tongue that are mainly present on the dorsal surface of the tongue. So, and these uh, taste birds, they register a various taste stimuli such as sweet, salty, sour, bitter taste. Now, the secretion. Salivary glands, they contribute to the maintenance of the moist surface of the oral mucosa or the mucous membrane. Beside uh, salivary glands, there are sometimes there are sebaceous glands as well. And these sebaceous glands, uh, they are present in very smaller quantities. In some animals, the body heat, it is released through the oral mucosa uh, by a process uh, such as panting, for example, in dogs. I think you have seen dogs uh, during the hot summers and their tongue is outside. So basically, they release the heat from their tongue. Oral mucosa is not completely visible except for a region where it joins the skin and some part of the gingiva. The vermilion zone of the lip represents a significant aesthetic con uh, component together with the gingiva. So it basically, it enhances, it further enhances the beauty of the face. 
So the oral mucosa, it has static function as well. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, do give me your feedback in the comments. And thank you again and stay blessed.